Singer Orezi said, and I quote, controversy, sex, and the like sell in entertainment. It is a driving force in the business. The most controversial often turns out to be the most successful. For example, if you see a video of me and Toke Makinwa frolicking or kissing, whether make believe or real, it would make headlines and go viral all across the globe. These things are what makes the entertainment industry interesting. And I totally the, agree I with- I totally yeah. disagree with the fact that the most controversial is the most successful. Successful. We have a lot of um, celebrities that are not <laughs> controversial and they are very successful. But now, define your define successful. Is it fame you're talking about or popularity? Funky Akinele is not controversial and me, she's very successful. So you don't have to be. Okay. If you just mentioned Funky Akinele, mm -hmm. get, go on with the list. Then I will give you a list of controversial people that are very successful. No, okay, I'm not saying that controversial people are not successful. Controversy sells. But it, it does sell, but that does not mean that if you're controversial, you'll be successful. He's talking about in Nigeria. In and Nigeria, based entertainment. Based on experience, based on what we have seen. Well, I think maybe our definition of success is different. Because for me, I don't What's think that everybody talking success? about you or you trending on all the blogs makes you successful. Look, at, okay, I will use a very recent example, um, which is Tatcha. Tatcha was in the Big Brother house, and um, she had a very controversial personality in the house. Mm -hmm. And as soon as she came out, she got more endorsements, or she got, a lo don't let me say more, she got a lot of endorsements, mm -hmm. contrary to what people believe, because everybody thought that, oh, after she was disqualified, her career would just end like that. And she was quiet for a while, but look at her now, she's winning. Do you understand? Now, I'm going to also use Tonto DK as an example. Mm. Tonto DK always makes headlines. And this always gives a, if you're looking for a brand ambassador, you call it Tonto DK because you know if she puts out a post, people are there to talk mm. about it. Yes, I'm going to also use, um, what's it called now, Bonner Boy. Part of this success is this whole Coachella thing, Giant of Africa. Do you understand? Because it was very so. controversial. No, I'm, I'm saying he contributed to, he contributed a lot in this new phase of Bonaboy. Bonaboy has so. been doing well, but this new phase of um, Bonaboy, he even had to stop an album based on the controversy around Coachella and recorded the Giants of Africa. And it, that's the album that was nominated for Grammy. If I, but you know that there are a lot of artists out Kanye there. Kanye West. Wait, hold on. There are a lot Kim of, Kardashian. If, if I, but you know there are a lot of artists out there that have tried to be so controversial. They are trying to be on everybody's list and they are still not successful. In Foul's voice. It's you how feel you your use your controversy. No it's how you decide to, you see, a lot of people don't take advantage of negative publicity. They think, oh, because it's negative, oh, we need to lay low. Mm -hmm. But some people ride on that horse of negative publicity, and it works for them a lot of time, most of the time. I won't say all the time, mm -hmm. but most of the time. So I kind of agree with Orezi, but let's listen to Benny Um I, I don't think I totally agree with Orezi on this. He's, mm -hmm. he's my buddy, but um, it's very possible for it to be controversial, yet not successful. Mm -hmm. You, you can be controversial, yes, you'll be famous for your controversies, but it doesn't necessarily make you successful. That's my point. No matter what level or what parameter you want to use to measure success. So you got to put some work into it. Yes, controversy will bring you fame. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And most times, fame comes before the success, before the money. Because mm -hmm. success will not be you fulfilling your career and you have good money in the bank. Mm -hmm. That is what it means to be successful. Yeah. Yeah, your right. career is good and then there's money, there's money in the bank. You know, so what controversy does for you, it makes you fa a famous person. Mm -hmm. That's what I now, said. What you now decide, you what you now decide, to, how you now decide to manage your fame, you know, to utilize it for the business aspect to increase mm -hmm. your revenue, mm -hmm. it's now a different ball game entirely. entirely. So just because yeah. every Tom, Dick, and Harry is controversial out there, doesn't necessarily make them successful. Right. Does excel? Yes, the industry, the entertainment industry, is, was built on, 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 on controversy and sex. Mm -hmm. All right, they sell sex. Controversy sells, but that doesn't necessarily make you successful. There are a lot of people out there with sex tapes that got leaked. Not everyone, got, no, no, not everyone of them got we're, we're successful, all, that's like Kim well, Kardashian. We're meeting all the know? things they said, like yeah. it will make headlines, and then people. Will that's it. The point. Making that's headline it. does yeah. not make you but successful. If you, if, if you recall, while I was talking about this, I said it is now how you decide. To, uh, to ride that wave of your controversy yeah. and that will determine your success. And then if it also goes and boils down to your hard work. That's Definitely. It. That's it. It. It, it. Definitely. It's me. So 
some people are hard working here yeah, and they are not on headlines and they are successful. The fact that they are not on every headline or on everybody's lips does True. not make them not mm. successful. True. True. They are not nobody nobody saying anything about them, but they are making their money and they are doing so well.